from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Oda Cuppy, live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Then the recovering spender, Lauren Gutman, is back to help you like she's helped herself. Boy, mm -hmm. she knows what she's talking about. She really does. Get out of debt when she answers the questions you've been sending in. Okay, are you drowning in credit card debt? A lot of us are. Lauren Gutman was too, but she got herself afloat. And she has some great advice for all of you right after this. Millions of Americans are in some kind of debt, and if you were with us when Lauren Grootman was here a few weeks ago, you may remember her story about her family's devastating financial problems. Lauren and her family successfully climbed their way out of a very big hole, and now Lauren's been helping others do the same. She writes about it in her new book, which is fantastic, called The Recovering Spender. Yeah, when she was here last, Lauren asked you to send out an SOS if you needed help in getting back on track, and today you are here with some answers. I this am. is such a good idea. I awesome. am. Such a good idea. And and we got so many and we got so many questions. All I'm right, sure. let's go with the first one. This yep. is from Luann in Morris, Illinois. This is her question. What is the best way to pay off credit card debt? Okay, so this credit card debt is is there's a difference of opinion sometimes when it comes to paying off credit card debt. Some people say start with the highest balance first. Yeah. Some people say start or the highest interest rate first, yeah. I'm sorry. Some people say start with the lowest balance. Uh -huh. And um, in my book, I actually show a graph, and you can see that there's really only a one-month difference if you were oh. to pay off oh, the really? debt, depending on which one. But the psychological benefits of paying off the lowest balance first and getting rid of all of these little credit cards yes. far outweighs, and you can Trying pay to chip it out. away exactly. at the big exactly. one. We have we, too many cards, don't exactly. we? Exactly. Yeah. Too many cards. How many should you have, do you think? I, I think zero. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, but if you do have a credit card, I would say stick with one. Wow. And it's hard when you go to those stores and they say, "Do you want one? You'll get twenty percent off." And you're like, "Oh, exactly. yeah, but do it." I hate it when they don't yeah. take the one you got. Yes, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's true. all right. Janet from Kendall, New York. Right? What does she write? I have ten thousand dollars in credit card debt. Mm -hmm. 58000 in a home equity loan. I'm so lost and scared. Mm -hmm. I will not share with my family. My husband is not even aware. Oh, my. Mm. I cannot share this with anyone. So there's also shame involved, isn't there? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shame. And this that question was very near and dear to my heart because that was me, yeah. you know, nine years ago. And um, I think the bigger question is, why are you spending so much money? Of course. You know, and... Um, so in my book, I talked a lot about actually the psychological things that happen when you're spending money. There's a place in your brain called the insula that doesn't ignite. The insula is what's responsible for telling your brain, danger, 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 don't do right. this. And so what they found with people that overspend is that the insula is actually not igniting, telling your it's body thing. no. Weird. And so huh. with her, you've got to get really real with why are you spending money? Isn't it addiction? It can be addictions just like a drug addiction like or alcohol else, right? addiction. So to really address that issue and then the get some help. The high from the exercise. Exactly. So, so, right. what she, so physically, though, right now, if she feels she's buried, what's mm -hmm. the first thing she should she do? She needs to come clean to somebody, yeah. whoever it can be. If she sees a counselor, a financial counselor, a regular counselor, get it out of your body. So a that friend, that shame, anybody. A friend, yeah. anybody. And then you can start working with, okay, now the next step is I need to talk to my husband. We need to start getting real with this as a family. Yeah, it sounds like she does the finances in the family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. And he's just not aware. Exactly, exactly. But it's really important that she talks to somebody. Okay. We're having a family meeting once a month just to yep. go over finances. Yep, and that's wow. what we do. We call it the budget night. Oh, yeah. Do? Yeah, and so we talk about our budget the whole month before it happens. Here's a question from Crystal in Salisbury, North Carolina. She says, I have no idea how to put my husband and my son on a budget. Mm -hmm. My husband is the sole wage earner. My son is 18 and still studying in school. When he needs something, he just goes out and gets it. I have no idea how to do a budget. We are slowly drowning, and mm. I don't know how to save mm. us. How's he getting it if he doesn't have a so, credit card? So this is, the, this is the interesting thing about this question is how do I put my yeah, husband right. on a budget, right? Yeah. It's like how do you put somebody else on a diet? Yeah. It just doesn't happen. Especially, and he's the one that's the sole exactly. breadwinner. Exactly. So, so what? what they need to do is sit down as a family and decide their family values. What are they going to do as a family? That's really, really important. And then... Like what? What do you mean? So, like vacations? Like, and okay, so gonna... for me, we have four, me and my husband have four children. So our kids and their college education, that's a value to us. Having family together time is a value to us. Having financial security is something that's important, a value to us. So if you're overspending and spending things that aren't according to those values, you mm -hmm. got to get rid of them because yeah. they're not going to help you in your life. So, that's but how is this young boy, 18 years old, able to purchase things 
if, exactly. He if he doesn't a, have a job. He so must have so some mom sort of and dad gave card. him a credit card. Yeah. Right. Or yeah. he must do, or he could have applied for one. Exactly. You can apply for That's things. True. They give them to without anybody. Any, without any... I, mean, oh, yeah. I had one in college. My yeah. first one was yeah. my first I, week of college. I had one in college, too. Yep. That's I was like, mm, <laughs> they get you. All right. Yeah. Well, it's all great advice. It's terrific, honey. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. We're so proud of you. Thank yeah. you.